Gabriel with Trailer Valet. I'm gonna show you how to attach and operate your Trailer Valet 5X, and then we'll move over to the XL. We're going to start with the mounting bracket. You'll need to make sure you have eight inches of space on the frame of your trailer tongue to properly mount the bracket. With the unit attached to the mounting bracket, measure out where you want the mounting bracket placed and which holes you're going to use before installing. From the mounting point to the ground, the unit sits at 14 inches tall and can extend up to 24 inches tall. It is preferable to install the mounting bracket with the rotating coupler in the low position for maximum traction. Once you're ready, first find the black adhesive used to protect your trailer frame and place it where you want the bracket to be installed. Then, remove the bracket from the unit. Loosely secure the two mounting clamps with the top two bolts before attaching it to the trailer. Then, Use the remaining two bolts to secure the bracket in place. Tighten the bolts until it's fully secure. Now just attach the Trailer Valet 5X to the mounting bracket. Remove the jack pin and you're ready to move. To adjust the height of the unit, simply lower or raise the jack by winding the handle. The 5X can be stowed when you're on the go by simply removing the stow pin, rotating the unit, and replacing the pin to secure the 5X. You can also choose to remove the unit completely by removing the pin and taking out the unit. To attach the XL, we recommend installing the hitch ball to the coupler first to make sure it is tightly secured with the spanner wrench. Then, lower the trailer onto the unit, making sure the two pin holes are aligned. To operate both units, simply disengage the brake by lifting the brake handle, then crank. Both units can be cranked forwards or backwards, depending on which direction you want to go. And simply rotate the unit to the left or right to turn left or right. To operate with a drill, just remove the crank handle and insert the drill using the drill adapter. Squeeze the trigger gently to get yourself comfortable with the torque of the drill, as it may be difficult to control at first. 